we're back in Seattle at Tilt. I've spent a lot of time in Italy and the result that I had was absolutely outstanding. It was just an experience. I loved it. It's one of three Maria Hines restaurants, all of which feature fresh, local ingredients with seasonal menus created by the renowned chef. You've cooked with Martha Stewart, you've been on Iron Chef. Tell me a little bit about, about Tilth. The cuisine is new American. Uh, we source as much as we can locally. It's really cozy. Yeah, exactly. Really cozy, farm to table. Now we're off to the kitchen to whip up one of Maria's favorite dishes. We are gonna get down and dirty in the kitchen. What are we gonna do? Uh, well, we're going to continue representing Washington State with a little bit of lamb loin. And we're going to serve it with cheesy grits and some sweet and sour cherries. That sounds delicious. Yeah. Okay. Should we get started? Yeah. Our first step is to trust the lamb loin so it cooks evenly and those juices stay in the meat. Then we heavily salt it and let it sit for a few minutes to absorb. Then we slowly add our grits to some warm milk, chicken stock, and salt. You want to add it in nice and slowly so it doesn't get lumpy on you. While our grits cook, we move on to our cherries, adding them to a pan along with a dash of salt. Stone fruits go really well with lamb. Yeah. You could use apricots. That would be really delicious okay. as well. There's actually five different microclimates in Washington State, so we have a diversity in the product that we have access to. We're Washington is a great state. Yeah. We have it I, all. You know, I actually <laughs> moved here just for all the beautiful food we have access to. Once our cherries are hot, we add in red wine vinegar and sugar and let those simmer. Next, we're going to cook the lamb. Okay. And then when you set it in the pan, uh -huh. I like to set it down and then move it away from me. So that way, if there's any oil splash, the oil splash is going to go back and not onto right. your wrist That's a or good, your hand. That's a good trick that we should all yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're going to let the meat sear probably like three minutes okay. on one side. And then we'll let it sear for another three minutes on the other side. And then we're gonna let it sit and rest. And the reason why we want it to rest is we want the juices to kind of reabsorb back into all of the meat. A lot of times people have a tendency to not let it rest and when they slice it, um, it starts to uh, kind of bleed out all those delicious juices that you're trying to capture. Yeah. See how our polenta is doing here. It's starting to thicken up really mm -hmm. nice. It looks good. And polenta grits, kind of the same thing, right, basically? Yes, absolutely. Then we throw in some butter and cheese. Once our cherries are done cooking, we pull them out and reduce the liquid. We're just gonna let it simmer mm -hmm. until the liquid cooks down probably to about a third of its volume. Okay. And it'll really intensify the flavor. And then Syrupy we can, and, yeah. Yeah, and then we can use that as the sauce. Once our liquid is reduced, we cool it off. Now that the lamb is finished, we take it off the heat and let it rest for a few minutes. This is the point where we have a glass of wine, chat. Yeah. <laughs> and now it's time to plate. First, we scoop up our polenta that. and add our cherries. Then we cut off the string from our lamb loin, slice it up, and place it on top. Just a couple cherries on top so you can see them. And it's all finished off with some arugula and our cherry sauce. Look at how pretty that makes it. And now the taste test. Let's dig in. I love this. Mmm. It's really delicate. Like the whole mm -hmm. dish kind of comes together and it's just a party for your mouth. You can put that on your menu. Oh, great. <laughs> you great. Can quote Excellent. Me. Excellent. <laughs>